I can't believe it's not chicken. Yes, this is just about right. MU Biological Engineering and Food Science Professor Fu Hung She says creating the soy chicken starts with a soy protein extracted from soy flour. Our goal is to try to create a product which will look like chicken, feels like chicken, and tastes like chicken. The soy then goes through an extrusion cooking process that uses water, heat, and pressure. The true vegetarian will love this product and they can season it any way they so desire. The large food processor starts producing soy chicken that is hot to the touch in only a minute. The texture and the mouthfeel is very much like chicken. I think it's very innovative. You can take a plant material and through a process and convert it into something that will taste like chicken. Now, I have personally tasted it and I really like it. I have tried it and it is good, absolutely. In fact, I, I always tell people, and they don't believe me, but I tell them that you will not be able to tell the difference. I grew up on a farm, we raised chickens. And it is very close to the texture, has the same texture and mouthfeel as chicken does. We're providing something that is high protein, uh, no cholesterol. We feed people with the plant protein directly would be much more efficient in terms of land use and water usage, energy usage, and also protein itself. I've known Dr. Shea for as long as I've been, I've been here at the zoo for about 22, 23 years. It's been a long time. And I can say that he's a very dedicated researcher. The first two years were not successful, but we were persistent. We kept trying. And until about 93, 94, we start to have some breakthrough. Dr. Shea is one of the best professors I've, I've had a pleasure of working with. He's very effective in the classroom. Uh, students have told me time and time again how good a teacher Dr. Shea is. I did not get an A in his class. I was actually working for him, working in the lab before I actually took his class. It is a very challenging course. He's tough, but very fair. Uh, Dr. Shea is a great person to work for. I mean, I enjoy my job. I really, I really do. I mean, I get a lot of hands-on experience. I've learned a lot. The satisfaction that you get from seeing your product on a shelf is immense. Yes, it's very exciting to see, see what you've developed and see that on the market. I think the food science is relevant to our daily life. And plus, if I could make contributions, make a safer food, make better food, or make food process more efficient, I think that would be a good contribution I could make. I was born in Taiwan, short after the World War II. In my childhood, uh, it was not easy. <laughs> but my parents, they realized the importance of education. I still remember in high schools, I actually spent three, three and a half hours daily just commuting to school. He's set a very, very good example. He has applied his uh, science and engineering in developing some wonderful products. I have been a member of IFT since my first year at the University of Minnesota. IFT is a great organization. I really urge you know, every food science student to become a member of it. The food industry is always changing. We need bright, young, new minds. Yes, food science is very hands-on and you can apply in your everyday life. You can feed the, the, the world. You can think about, you can create the exciting new foods people can enjoy. It's just fun.